Welcome to Shore Perspectives, a community feature of WESR Radio, highlighting the spirit of the shore from those who call it home. Everyone has a story. Everyone has a perspective. I'm Azala Francis, Director of Northampton County Department of Social Services. We're always excited to talk about the angel tree because that's the time of the year that we really get to focus on the children and the families um, who need some support to bring holiday season into their homes. The angel tree can never happen without Salvation Army working along with us and certainly all the members of the community, the businesses, um, the families who take angel trees. What happens is families get to apply. They complete an application. If you're receiving SNAP or TANF or benefit at the agency, we check just to validate that. But if all things are green light and go, they get to apply. And if they have that application returned to us before a certain date, then their families are selected and we place their children's name on an angel tree. And then the ball starts rolling from there. We place those angels to participating businesses and families. And um, when you go shopping or when you go into patron that particular business, you will see those angels hanging on the tree. And that represents the families who come in through the agency who are in need of a little assistance for Christmas. On that angel, it will tell you the size, the age, the, age, the grade, and um, a couple of other little things about that child so that you have some kind of picture in your mind that when you go shopping, you can kind of get an image of who you're shopping for. Well, one of the things, it's almost like Santa's workhouse, I would call it. There are so many wonderful volunteers on the backside who are putting this all together. Uh, in fact, we actually utilize the middle school at Northampton Middle School. And so every child or family, participating family, actually will have everything all organized and uh, cataloged with their family's name on it on the huge auditorium stage at the middle school. And so when the families come in, they catalog their name, tell us who they are, and we call them into the cafeteria and we kind of give them this greeting and tell them how much of a support and letting them know the many businesses and individuals from the community who participated together to make this happen. So they get to hear all of that piece first. And then they get to get their gifts for their child. We always ask them not to bring the children because they build up the anticipation of it. Um, and so for, at that point, they actually get to see what was given to them on the behalf of the businesses for their loved one. Uh, sometimes it's wrapped, sometimes most of the cases it's not, and um, but they get to do that piece as well. And they get to see some of the things that they got and uh, as well as sometimes when it's wrapped. I think we don't really understand the stories and that these are really our neighbors. And so often when I listen and I see the people that come in, I remind myself, Mazala, that could be you. That could be your loved one. Um, many have lost their jobs. Many have worked all of their lives. One catastrophic event is all it took. Some are working not one, two, and three jobs. They're just underemployed. This represents people who are contributing members of the community who simply need support and care because they do not have those extra dollars. Even though it's Christmas and we kind of think, okay, they had 365 days out of the year. Well, those 365 days, they were busy with life, paying the necessities. So there wasn't a surplus when it's Christmas time. Those are the people in many cases that when you choose that angel off the tree, those are the families that you are supporting. I can't tell you the number of times family members have said, I wish I knew who chose my child. I want to send them a thank you. I can't tell you the times that I've seen the tears. There was one time that I was um, coming back in the parking lot and a family had just picked up their angel tree gift. This was a family that couldn't make it to the school, so if there's any leftover, we bring it to the agency. And this was a grandmother who was raising three of her children. And it was so touching that I actually went in and told the staff, I said, let me tell you what just happened. And so I happened to be walking uh, in the parking lot and these three children were looking at their grandma saying, oh my goodness, grandma, I can't believe it. 
How did you make this happen? Thank you so much. We just love you so much. They were just so excited. And so as I walked past, I got to see the couple of things that they were so excited about. They were wonderful gifts, but for many people who have, they weren't something that you would probably put that much emphasis on. I think it's so important to understand how what we see as a little means so much to people who don't have. Those three children were forever touched and they thought it was their grandma, but that grandma came back in later to say, I can't believe what you did. You made Christmas for my family. This was a grandmother raising three grandchildren. There's so many stories. I was thinking about this little girl whose mother had been sick. Yes, she had worked, but she was no longer able to work. And uh, I mean, actually she would come in sometimes when she was able, she would call the agency and this little girl was so excited to know that she was going to get something for Christmas. The mother said that that was all that she talked about. And one of the things that she got that was just heartwarming to her was a backpack. A Paw Patrol backpack. That was the gift of the century to this little nine-year-old girl. She wanted nothing more than a Paw Patrol backpack. So to her, Santa was real and Santa heard her and she had been a good girl because she got her Paw Patrol backpack. It means so much to so many when we give and we support Angel Tree. It means so much. Well, well, the one thing that I wish that um, the community could see is what we see, but I hope you hear it today. The thank yous are there. The gratefulness is there. We just get to see it. And I hope that you hear it, the inflection of what those families wish that they could say to you. And sometimes they don't say anything, but a picture is worth a thousand words. Sometimes our generosity that we give to others leaves people speechless because they don't know how to receive a gift that's unearned, that they didn't have to pay for, simply because you care. It means a lot. It means a lot. To purchase a gift for a child, pick up an Angel Tree tag at bb and Bank in Exmoor, Atlantic Union Bank, Exmoor in Cape Charles, or SunTrust Bank in Sheraton. For WESR Radio, I'm Kelly Gaskell.